Hey, what's up guys? This is Amaku the Sky bringing you another toy review. Today we are going to take a look at the DX Shigoken VF1S Valkyrie from the show Macross. This is the Roy Fokker special, his um, Batroid, and together we are also going to take a look at the super parts or strike parts for the uh, VF1 toy. So let's check our um, box. Let's check the box first of the Valkyrie. Really hard to do this because I'm so far on the table. So this is the front, this is just a slide. And this is the back of the slide. As you can see, uh, there's the Roy Fokker um, battery. So, yeah, this is a 1 by 48 scale uh, What do you call this? 1 by 48 scale VF1S figure. So, let's remove the slide. So, we can take a look at the box that is inside. So this is the box inside the slide. Sorry, you cannot see. I'll adjust it right here. So there. So there's the front. This is the main box. Here is the top, here is the bottom, here is the side, and the other side. Now this uh, specific VF1S Valkyrie or this specific DX Jugoken Macross figure is a limited edition and sorry about that it's a limited edition I think this is the only Roy Fokker release the other VF1S is from Hikari Ichijo Roy Fokker have his special stand it is VF1S Valkyrie stand. Here it says uh, VF1S Valkyrie Roy Fokker. This, this is the front. And this is the back. It, sh it actually shows you how to um, set up the stand. For now, let's um, move this to the side because I also want to show you the super parts for the UVF1 toy. This is the TV version. So here is the front of the box of the super parts. The top. Sorry about that. The top. The bottom. And the back. As you can see, there are missiles included in this figure. Um, the difference between the movie version and the TV version super parts is that the movie version have the option to shift the uh, what do you call this the right uh, booster to a cannon, and the movie version doesn't come with doesn't come with a uh, missiles which is why I think this is a better deal compared to the movie version that do you remember love but yeah I actually got this yesterday really really good deal and honestly I'm not a huge Macross fan I'm a fan of the NES game the Macross 
uh, way back in the NES era. But the reason why I really wanted another, or well, that's a spoiler, I wanted a Roy Parker figure because I got the VF27, the extra Goken VF27. I got this one for. Uh, what call this? Got this one from a trade. It doesn't come with his official hands. That's why I thought I really need a decent Macross figure. And I was honestly surprised and I'm glad I accepted the trade offer for this uh, VF27. But the VF27 and the VF1 is are like night and day. I think the VF uh, one is, is uh, miles and miles better compared to this figure but this this guy is the reason why I was trying to uh, look for a macros figure for a very long time now so yeah sorry about the long introduction but yeah let's take a look at the figure according to the guy I got this uh, and the guy I got the Mecha's figure he really didn't uh, transform this to Batroid or Gearwalk mode he actually just used this as a display for the fighter mode so today uh, this guy is uh, today we are going to transform this guy for the very first time Now let's see the content of the box. I actually inspected this uh, yesterday. I just checked what what's the content if it is complete, but I never took out uh, took the figure out of the tray or anything. So yeah, this is what it comes with. It obviously includes a instruction manual. Let's uh, since this one is open, let's check the instruction manual. This may be a long video, guys. So bear with me. A fully colored instruction manual this is from the anime and this are the parts that it comes with the transformation sequence I guess that that's it I actually not I'm actually not sure if I can transform this figure but uh, we are going to try so the VF1S comes with um, how many hands are there? there are many hands right here so let's check the first tray first there are 8 extra hands we VF1 is figure, the stand or the obviously the VF1S. These are for um, filling out the gaps when it's transformed to best rate mode. Roy Fokker itself, himself, <clears throat> the gun, and the cover for the leg or thrusters, I'm not sure. And here we have another stand. I think this is a stand just for the battery mode. Uh, not sure. This is the. This is my actually first uh, DX Chikoken if you put it in paper. 
because my VF27 got that one loose or just the robot itself incomplete. So let's fit this stand side first because I'm so excited to check out the trigger. I've been wanting to open this figure since yesterday, so now it's our chance. Not even sure how heavy this figure is, but I think this figure in bot trade mode is around 11 inches or so, 11 to 12 inches maybe. That's why I decided if I'm going to get another Macross figure, it would have to be a VF1S and it would have to be Roy Walker because he is the skull leader. Um, we, we could move the table closely so there we go let's check the VF1S it's heavier than what I expected I'm so used to um, solo Chugopin I want those kind of heavy uh, robots but this the weight of this is actually decent so I'm not sure how to transform this just yet but I watch a decent amount of reviews about this so yeah uh, the cockpit can obviously open so you can put your pilot Roy Fokker here there so there's Roy Fokker The detail of this toy is really amazing. I was actually so close to um, purchasing the VF1S Roy Fokker from the Yamato line, but I'm really glad I didn't. I'm really glad I settled for this amazing figure. So. Yep. The articulation in fighter mode, obviously the wings have flops here that can also uh, go here, stand here, or whatever you want. Um, I think there are, is there an, yeah there is actually an air brake right here. Let's check the landing gear. I'm going to take this one really slow because I'm, first of all, I'm not familiar with the figure. Again, I got another figure that I am not familiar with. I believe I have to pull this one first. Right? Before the cup, I am not actually so sure right now. And I don't want to break my figure, so. Let's use the tool that it comes with. 
because I'm not so sure how to transform this. And looks like the tool is actually really useless. Uh oh. I'm already having trouble. And I'm still at the landing gear. I think that's it. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. There you go. So you open the bottom part first, then you pull this uh, this part out, then uh, fold it like that, fold it flat like that, and you do the same here. You pull this one, fold it right there. Now. We will so that's our first landing gear. I th I think there is another opening hatch here. Yeah, there is. So you can actually have more in push your I think you can push your wheels like that. Not sure if I'm doing this right or wrong. Then we go to the other landing gear. Pardon me if I'm having a rough time with just landing gear. Yes, I actually have no idea about this figure. out this whole events first before doing anything because man this one is so stiff I'm not sure it's the devil's figure but means the figure was not used much Oops, I pulled it too far, no, oh, there you go, this figure is really stiff, it's a good thing but it's really annoying. There, I'm done with the landing gear. Pull the landing gear like that. I want to open the flaps. I do want the this one because I'm so curious how far I go. Maybe it's just like that. It's fine. So there's the back landing gear. These are rubber, 
Yeah, it's uh, rubber, rubber tires. And it's always a good thing to have rubber tires. And this one is a lot easier to do compared to that one. Or not. You open the hatch here. I think you have to pull this one out first before folding it around. Yeah, you have to pull this one first. Be careful not to force it to open this way when you were weren't able to pull this one out first like this because it might break. This two for the landing gear at the front. This is so hard. I didn't expect this to be this hard. Let me check here first. to pull the landing gear at the front let's try this one yeah it's a lot easier to do that I guess so yeah so there sorry about that it really took me a long time but at least now we have to align this first and put it here. Yeah. But at least now we can fit our VM VF one S on display like that. Now since I have the super parts, I do want to install the super super part first uh, let's let's still check the figure because this one is really awesome so there there it is the fighter mode this toy have a bit weight to it which I was actually not expecting I was expecting it to be lighter actually because from what I can tell the figure is mostly plastic but the joint seams are made of die cast so let's put the VF1 here first then let's check the super parts so there's the content of the super parts put it at the side this comes with a manual yeah it comes with a manual but it's not a booklet aside is really annoying when you are buying a premium figure so yeah let's install the super parts it's really embarrassing my first challenge was that taking the lemon gear out and we have Bunch of accessories right here. Mm. 
unfortunately I didn't watch enough video for this but for the most part I have a good gist about the about what to do with the figure so yeah again this is the content of the super parts this is the TV version and that's why there are means missiles here instead of um, badges which I prefer to have missiles on a plain figure so for the super parts maybe we'll do the leg first not sure how to do this like here no this is for the other leg we'll use this one so what do you have to do it's tab right here you have to pull this one out pull that tab out bring this one down then drop the leg part like that not sure if it's caught in the camera but yep that's what you have to do there are key pegs here like uh this one goes here and this one goes to there so you won't be lost uh when installing this figure it's really a good thing we thought about that So we now have to solve it here. I'll make sure it's captured in camera. So the super parts. Yep. And there you go. Then it pegs so smoothly is actually it feels really nice on hand like this no it's supposed to be like this i think so we we have to peg this one here i'm actually still testing if this is the right part because I don't want to damage my figure installing the wrong part to my VF1S. Again, pull this tab out first. The wing is in the way. Pull this tab out first. Then that will automatically unpeg. Um, pull your feet down like that. Then install it like this. So there is a peg here that is keyed. Again, if you guys missed that one, yep. Then install the part here have to do that first so there now we have to install the armor in the arm so from what I understand, this part goes to. Wait. Do I have enough clearance? This part goes to here. I'm not sure if I have enough clearance, but I'm going to do it anyway. hard to do this 
with a bunch of things at the back. Yep, install that one in. It just tracks smoothly. Then install the other part like so. Now you have completed the other parts. We put them, we peg them again. It may be a, a little bit loose for your liking, but that's fine. Don't need to worry about it too much. Now, for the fun part, the booster. So for the booster, um, you have two of these. You have to peg it here, I think, at the top. Not sure if I'm doing this right, but I think it's supposed to be like that. Peg it like that at the top. Then you have to 